and we're live. Did you get you guys want to talk about uh, how the NFL is shielding the Washington football team from human trafficking and in uh, exchange is now trying to scapegoat the Raiders football former head coach by exposing his homophobic and racist remarks, um, trying to divert attention away from the Washington football team's owner who literally put cheerleaders uh, overseas and then took their passports and held them and then had them take like topless photos and shit all and all this is being how... swept under the rug not really it's very po- very very prominent news right now but the all NFL's i'm hearing not releasing is how it. cool the owner of the washington football team oh is. my god he... <laughs> what if... dan snyder is the worst human such a per- awful Would the worst be... human be fondled by so many teenage cheerleaders well he didn't even say teenage by so many no cheerleaders. i don't think he was the one involved with it i mean i mean not in that way maybe he was i don't know i didn't who know did it god. then i maybe i missed the story everybody who, who, who brought the uh... girls over the Washington, the Washington football team, formerly known as the Redskins. Oh, did the players do it? Is that what you're saying? I got a fucking... No, yeah. the, the team... I'm glad I'm not forced... the only one having a hard time following this. Okay. Yeah, he Washington. said the team did it, but that's a, the, the team is not, not an entity that can do things. It has to hey, be a person. Hey, fucking Taylor, we're talking about the Washington football team and the cheerleaders. Can you... They're the You've heard about this, right? Uh, I don't know what their cheerleaders are. Oh, are they all men now? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, oh they were, my God. There's topless photos of these dudes, and it's an issue. Oh, oh so the, the the Redskins cheerleaders dropped, and they, they're all naked? <clears throat> no. What, what actually happened is the team or someone associated with it brought over cheerleaders in a human trafficking conflict issue, whatever, and... Tucker thinks that they are talking about John Gruden's racist email from a decade yeah. ago to divert attention from the from human the trafficking of shit. cheerleaders. Then yeah. that that makes a huge amount of sense. I I I buy in immediately having just heard about this. And, that's, <laughs> and, it, and it's not even me. I'm just I thought that this was something that was more prevalent and that at least one of you would have heard of the the news of the week in the national football team. America uh, loves football. Yeah, I, I did not hear that. But if mm. some racist email suddenly cropped up from years and years ago, as soon as this happening, yeah, yeah, that's why. No, no, no. They found it after surveying. I think the C, the FBI, or the C, somebody raided the Washington football team's headquarters, mm-hmm. which is very interesting. And then um, the NFL like search through 650,000 emails, which is so great. We get email drama in the NFL. Like this is come on, baby. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, uh, and they found a bunch of Move racist and Hillary. like homophobic and like, like literally somebody was like, he hit for the cycle from all of like everyone, everybody ha- should hate him from saying all of these things. <laughs> and so, yeah, he got fired, but like, then the NFL was like, okay, and that's enough of that. And we're not going to talk about the Washington football And team. that's, pl- you know, I, yeah, I don't, they were I, like, all right, that's enough justice so they, for today. They, they don't have a new name yet for the Washington football team, but if and they went from Redskins to just the skins and it was a guy <laughs> with like a swastika on his forehead, think of, <laughs> think, think of how funny that would have been where they're like, we've heard you and we have responded. And then it's just, it's just Schillinger. From, Just all from, from Oz. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> it's a good idea. Upset everyone. Did you, did you see like the potential names? Because I personally hope they keep it the football team because it's so yes. fucking bland and stupid. Yeah. And it's oh, just like to me, it's like classy and old time. Like like a team that would come a uh, name from the nineteen thirties. Yeah, and I think that they should take the XFL team, the like Red Wolves or whatever the hell that is, and just you know, or the Warriors or the like yeah, yeah anything like, else i, I think on. the xfl had team names like the san diego murderers <laughs> like <laughs> as and, they should and, and so like that would be pretty cool the yeah. washington murderers mm. the oh dude upset everyone the washington more. the washington bombers <laughs> the washington bomb the washington drone strikes <laughs> dude up, up, <laughs> the, washington, the washington drone strikes dude you, there are so many names you could use to upset everyone that yeah. would be funny <laughs> This, that's pretty stupid of them to have stayed Washington football team for this long. You would think that given the controversy, they would have had like names in the chamber. 
to immediately be capitalizing on. I don't know. You would think that, but I also think that they it took a lot of effort for them to make them change it, like a lot, like if, unnes- uh, unnecessary. <laughs> how about how about the Washington colonizers? I'm down for it because they're like, we're going to take over our division. We're going to take over this league. We're going to conquer our division. <laughs> we're going to subjugate their women. <laughs> <laughs> we're going there. Your stadium becomes our stadium. All right. We travel to every opposing home game. It's not only are we playing the Lions today, we're going to burn down their houses afterward <laughs> and take their children for our own. It's actually just the Raiders fans. It's just, There's yeah. nothing different. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, oh, these man. are these are good names. Yeah. <laughs> the I think <laughs> I, they need to hire Tucker and I at NFL mm. to do that. You yeah, can rename was, all the teams. The I murder could. games. <laughs> the, the murderers. <laughs> it's just crime themed. <laughs> Fel- the, felony like, felony football would be such a good idea. That I think play with was a good idea. Oh yeah, that I mean that that's also good alliteration. But this yeah. is a this is much but, better than that. But it's this bigger. is no pad football. Full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah only there's a rule you can have one knife per team but no one knows where it is or who has it. <laughs> hey, can we have a wild card the situation? ball is actually the knife and it's, <laughs> it's actually dodgeball now <laughs> could we have a wild card type situation where someone had a gun yeah Mm, like yeah, else I, I was love a, that from the aud- from the audience a randomly selected person. He was a he was a great <laughs> he was a great quarterback. No one can take that away from him. But what put him held in shoulders above the rest? It was the gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> like seat number six five four, you've won the fifty fifty raffle. The gun is also yes. on its way. So shoot some people. We don't care. It's just like all right. The NFL losing ratings. <laughs> the new league where one fan from each team is given a tranquilizer dart <laughs> and a blow gun they can use at any point. <laughs> Until, oh, they like, darted Tom the Brady ref. Just gets t- yeah. <laughs> Once again, the Raiders target the ref. <laughs> There's players very down the field. Move, very prudent from the Raiders. <laughs> I mean, uh, the NHL just started their new contract with ESPN instead of NBC. Oh, no. And like, how is it going? I didn't, I didn't realize how bad NBC was at promoting the NHL until ESPN takes it for one day. They get control of it and they promote the first game of the season. They have like they have Charles Barkley in goalie gear taking shots from Wayne Gretzky. And it's like, oh, this is what promotion is like. This is what a successful sports empire does. Like they mm. put all their effort behind something because I mean, obviously ESPN is going to be on, or I'm sorry, NHL is going to be on Sports Center and everything now. So they have to amp it up. They have to get it popular to, to, to drive people more. I think. The first game of the season under ESPN, they did such a great job marketing it. It was a regular season game between the the Washington Capitals and the New York Rangers. Second highest rated regular season game of all time. Their wow. first one. And it just it goes to show like like NBC didn't give a fuck. They weren't doing a good job. They they had they at one point a few years ago they like had New Jersey Devil games on the outdoor channel. Well, you <laughs> like, assumed intent. They could be incompetent. They don't have to not care. That could be it. It could be that their their priorities are so skewed where it's like, I mean, NBC has the Olympics, and so maybe they're focusing so much on can stuff I, like that, they don't maybe. care. But can I tell you a, t- a tale of two, whatever the fucking saying is, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, ESPN has Please. Monday Night Football, and it's the worst out of all of the, you know, Fox, NB- NF- NBC, CBS, whomever's mm-hmm. doing it. ESPN's Monday Night Football is like legendary bad. The commentary is bad. And really? you'd expect them to be very good or at least decent, but like more commercials than anybody. It's just a pain in the ass. So it's crazy to hear that they're doing that much for hockey, but like if hockey didn't have any support to begin mm-hmm. with, maybe ESPN is a step up from whatever they got. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it is far and away the least popular of the four major sports here. And so for they sure. need the help they can get. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's neat. Like it'll be fun because apparently charles barkley and wayne gretzky are like really good friends you off, know what off screen How do you, which is funny do you, do you think hmm. there's like a, a friendship app for like formerly like giga famous people they're just like kind of hella lonely and they're just like all right wayne like you want to get yeah. some wings like I don't know. <laughs> oh the dude dude wayne gretzky 
best no one in any of the four major sports or i would say even soccer knowing nothing has ever dominated the sport as soundly as wayne gretzky did no one maybe and every time i don't know how good wayne was so wayne he's good but it's a it's a common thing to say but Wayne, the way you score points in hockey is one point for a goal, one point for an assist. Assist meaning that you pass it to the person and then they score. Okay. And Wayne Gretzky is so far ahead of everyone in point totals over career. He has the most goals by almost 100. And even if you were to remove every goal he ever scored and just counted his assists, he would be far and away the number one scoring person of total points. So everyone else gets to keep their goals and their assists. You remove 900 goals from him. He's still in first place. So if, I mean, you're right. That is so unbelievably dominant. I'm trying to think of who, like, I was going to say, like, that's more dominant than Jordan or LeBron. That's it, like, it is. Yeah. That's like, you are far, like the best player in the history of the sport. Yeah. It's not even shot. close. Like, like having 200 points in an 82 game season is like considered the most outrageous of things. We'll never see that again. Somebody's and gonna bring a box. He has and all I don't of them. Believe that that would also equate, mm-hmm. right? Like I think Lemieux also does. it. Well, I mean it's it's incredible, right? But also I feel like with the amount of hockey players given the opportunity to stand on that podium, there are not nearly as many boxers, right? That like true, st- right? You just you could be mm-hmm. incredible, but you're not. If you're fighting in the amateur leagues, I don't know. You're just not prolific, even if you're incredible. Yeah, but he, like it was, it was funny, like seeing how they promote. Like, but I was saying, like Wayne Gretzky, best player of all time. He has the charisma of a wet bag. Like he, he and so, and like so much of it, you can tell he's uncomfortable because they're like trying to pump his tires in, in, during the broadcast and like make him the guy where they're like, and Wayne did this and Wayne did that, and he's like so clearly uncomfortable with all the praise. He's like, yeah, yeah, you know. Well, Charles, Charles was incredible in the NBA. Like just trying. Do you think that he lacked charisma or he intentionally didn't hit it back? No, I, I having watched enough interviews with him, he's just not that charismatic a guy. I watch F1, and there are a bunch of drivers there who just the opposite of hit it back. They intentionally do everything they can to be the driest, you don't want to talk to me anymore interview. That's a and, big alpha flex. That's like a stop interviewing me, and I love it for them because honestly, I feel like if you're at that point, like I would, you know, it's like the Kanye West, just like, hey, how you doing? Mm hmm. All right. I got nothing out of that. Maybe I don't ask him the next time. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, and and that's what these F one drivers are doing. But I'm a new fan, and I want to meet these people. Oh, and you know, it's like, hey, how was the race? And they'll either give you the like the platitudes that don't mean much, or everything is so soft, and they they won't even smile for a picture. Like, hey, you know, picture. All right, can you smile for this one? Just like it's like a rude level of disconnection. It's because yeah, they're it, European. Gre- oh, Gretzky I was was that. Gretzky was nothing like that. Like. He was clearly out of place. Yeah. Didn't like they're trying to make him and like Charles Barkley. Well, Charles Barkley's obviously already tremendous at his job. He's hilarious. And they're trying to like get Wayne involved. Oh, currently they are. Yes. Yeah. Like oh, right okay. now, like just last night, like during an intermission or something, they had Wayne shoot five pucks on Charles Barkley and like goalie gear. And he he scored four out of five, except the one that he didn't score actually went in and like Wayne is such like a I'm just about the sport and about that thing that he was like Charles you you dropped that one in the net after it hit you that's a goal <laughs> and everyone was like no that's a save for Charles that's a save for Charles wow Charles Barkley and so like he like and, and like quickly like Wayne Gretzky's like oh this isn't about the game we're playing right now it's about the, the broadcast yeah it's probably better if he saves one like <laughs> I it was he just like in my head he's just ripping it at Charles Charles, like, no, he was he was shooting it so gently, but because he can pick exactly where on the net he wants to hit it, he can shoot it at 15 miles an hour in an area where Charles Barkley is too immobile to move. And so he just yeah. did that. <laughs> <laughs> but like I, the hopefully first... they continue it because I'm, I'm looking forward to to those ESPN highlights and everything. They just like I, I remember watching ESPN as a kid and being like, God fucking damn it. Like, like they do such a good job. I don't even care about football and these highlights are awesome. I don't give a shit about basketball, but these highlights are so cool. I wish they did this for hockey. Why don't they do it for at the time? I had no idea they didn't have a contract with the NHL, so they went out of their way to not play anything from it because there's, you know, what's their incentive? Yeah. 
Well, people are interested in it, and they watch your show because they're interested in hockey. But hockey people aren't watching ESPN because they know that it's not there. Ah, chicken and the egg issue, right? Yeah, a little bit. Because, like, you look at the round table, like, I don't know anything about the NBA, but I know their, like, mid-game, like, banter is unmatched and hilarious, largely because of that guy Charles Barkley. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really good. Sometimes they take the banter guys and have them do the whole game, and it's really, really bad. Well... Yeah, you know what's happen. great? The the NFL has started letting Peyton Manning and his brother Eli Manning do these literal like sidecasts where they'll be streaming their version of it. So it'll be almost like a Twitch stream where they're they're, they're like they're in a Zoom call and they'll have random random people come, not like celebrities, like LeBron may jump in or like some some coach or whatever, and it's just like a bunch of like two retired brothers. Just spilling just random industry like stories and just goofing mm-hmm. off and and it's like seeing that real side of of people like I think they crushed it I think they had a million concurrent viewers on what in their last uh, holy shit thing so I was like oh like people give a shit about this I gave a shit about it it was better than the original broadcast for a game that I didn't really care about I'm just as a viewer I'm like what's interesting it's Twitch it's the that idea of it a yeah. million concurrents yeah like, that's insane. I'm impressed they have the infrastructure for it. Me, Cause, not me too, because they they service a fuck ton of people with like all of it's the NFL. Maybe I'm wrong. I I guess I think of them like a big stream is like a quarter million, and they get those every so often, and they have to be prepared for it. But a million, oh, are you talking about Twitch or something? Yeah, we're not. No, no, it wasn't on Twitch. No, no, no. I mean, they're streaming a million right concurrent. So that's yeah, correct. on uh, like like on the live stream that they were doing, like. Thursday night football is live right now. It's got thirty one thousand uh, on the main channel, but like Nick Marks is, or other people are streaming it. Whatever. Either way, uh, I wasn't talking about that. I was saying that when the the Peyton Manning stream, the ESPN or whatever stream that the Fox, I don't know what like service they were doing it on that stream got a million concurrent like viewers. Yeah. So it wasn't even bro, on. Like but a, I didn't <clears throat> keep up. I think it's me, yeah. not you. No, it's probably me. No. It is probably me.